you shaped it in your mind. Total performance. Now the all-new Toyota Supra brings it alive. Super power created by a 3-liter 24-valve 200 horsepower engine. Super suspension, racing type, double wishbone, fully independent. Super cockpit, where you perform. The new Toyota Supra. Performance without compromise. Now the Supra dynasty begins. Who could ask for anything more? All right. Well, we're here to try to get this thing wired up. And I keep finding more and more things that um, I'm missing in the factory harness. So let's take a look at what we got going on. So I've got this uh, fuse box pulled apart <clears throat> in the front. I'm going to kind of uh, try to keep it as factory-like as I can. I've upgraded the, uh, the, the primary wires coming from the alternator and going to the battery. I've also upgraded the, um, the factory um, fusible link that, that came in the 86 and a half to a 120 amp, um, uh, you know, fuse. And uh, basically that's because I plan on upgrading the alternator and having a little more current flow than, than the factory. And with upgraded wires, we can, we can you know, do that without any risk. Um, so one of the things that I'm finding that, that I'm missing, um, and I'm glad I, I found this now before I finish the, uh, the motor harness, um, I basically have to um, feed this relay if I'm going to use it to turn on the, um, I believe it goes to the condenser fan. So in any case, uh, this connector here, I have to get a, uh, I have to get a connector now for this. I'm just going to try to get the wires added in the harness. There's four wires that go to this. Um, and I might be mistaking what this is. I forget exactly. I'll have to look at the uh, schematic. But I actually, I know that this is actually the condenser fan. And um, we actually have that in this harness here to connect it once I get all this uh, completed. And then that feeds the condenser fan there. Um, so I have to figure out what this four pin uh, plug is. It goes to a relay here, obviously. But what is that control? I don't know. I think that was in the factory motor harness. That was pulled out when we uh, removed the 7M. So, so uh, anyways, got a lot of wiring to run. And uh, what I'm going to work on now is mounting the ECU so that I can uh, make the wiring um, the true lengths that we're going to have. Um, I'm trying to keep a rat's nest from happening inside. So let me get working on that right now. All right, so we're back under the dash. And um, basically, this is uh, the factory ECU that um, went to the 7M. And uh, this is essentially how it was installed above the, um, sorry if it's blurry. Um, this is how it was installed above the, I'm sorry again. Um, this is how it was installed above the uh, glove box basically. And uh, you know, there's a nice passageway for wiring that goes right in between here. And so we're, go we're going to copy that. Um, and I'm going to face the ECU the same direction for the pins to uh, match. One of the other connectors that I have to do more research on is uh, this, this connector here. I believe that uh, I will need it um, now. I didn't think that I did originally. Um, I think that it might go to the, um, to the AC, uh, or I'm sorry, to the, um, the heating and cooling system. Um, I have to do a little bit more um, investigating on that. All right, it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm still working on all this wire. Just, uh, basically, trying to figure out what this connector goes to because I don't have the other side of this connector and uh, trying to figure out what it goes to. I've located it and it's called B2 and uh, B2, there's only one pin used uh, so far in the EFI system and it's 13. And if we follow where it connects, pin 13, let's see, B2, pin 13 is right here. So that goes to the ETC ECU. So that's, I believe the automatic transmission, but we will see. So I'm just trying to look through here for uh, another B2, sorry, for another B2 here. And there's my buddy's uh, grinding away over there. Luckily, 
He doesn't have any close by neighbors, so. All right, B2, B2. I feel like I'm playing bingo, but B2. Up, 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 let's see, B2, B2. B2. Okay, not yet. B2. Top list, tail elimination. I'm gonna go for the gold and say that we're looking for Automatic transmission. Where's the transmission? Automatic transmission. Power seat. I guess cruise control could also have it. Let's see. Yep, B2 is right here for the cruise control. Let's see what it is. Pins three and six. Cruise control, cruise control. Went too far. Cruise control. Okay. So we're looking for B1. B1 looks like it uh, has a cruise control clutch switch. Manual transmission, automatic transmission, neutral start switch. So B1. Looking for B1 or B2. B2. So that's not even it. Let me look for B2. That's B1. B2 right here. So we have uh, ATC, CU, T, TCCS, ECU. Okay. That's B26. Where's the other B2? Let's see. Not seeing the B2, the other B2. It says there's another one. B3, B2. Oh, there's the other one right here. So, to ECT solenoid. So that's gotta be. It's gotta be ETC system. Okay, so ETC system. All right, so B2. So that's basically where they all go. So it goes to the ETC system. So let's see, B2. It's all over here. Let's see, what do we have? B2. All right here. So B2, speed sensor, ETC, TCC, C, S, ECU basically here indicator switch pattern select so pretty much all this stuff goes to the ETC ECU speed sensor okay check connector All right, so we don't really need anything in this ETC system, so that's good. All right, well, that solves that question. All these other connectors we have uh, mates for, so I can add them to my harness without having to cut, and uh, so that's kind of nice. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to work on um, getting a mount made for the uh, EMU Black to fit where the factory was, where the factory ECU was. Um, and again, I'm going to actually face the heat sinks up and there's adequate ventilation up above. It's pretty much an open dash up above. So that'll be good. Um, not that I think that it'll create too much heat, but anyways, uh, let me get working on a bracket here. We'll get this mounted and uh, we'll be right back. All right, where is that bracket? I'm playing where is that bracket right now? And uh, bracket is winning right now. I heard something clanging around here. I don't know. Like like something metal in here with this pedal. 
This is a clutch pedal that I haven't put on yet because I want to run some uh, battery wire or amplifier on the trunk. And um, anyway, I, I need to leave room to, to run the wire. So, you know, I can't for the life of me remember why all that stuff but anyways okay and if I look on the dash where you'd never look I found what I'm looking for all right so sorry for that waste of time so we're gonna put this bracket back on right up here underneath the, the glove box and um, try to use the factory hardware everywhere possible so uh bear with me i'm gonna try to set this down and still record i don't know if i'm gonna get it all or not but uh Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. And hopefully the camera is not on my nostrils. You can actually see something meaningful. Odds are, it might not be the case. According to my calculations, aha, uh -huh. there we are. So hopefully you can see that better now. Um, so that's going to be my bracket for the ECU. It fits like a glove. So that's excellent. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, weather stripping on the back side of the bracket so that it doesn't vibrate against the, the top of the glove box. The glove box cover. Um, it's uh, right uh, right here. Sorry about that. Yeah, because I don't want it to vibrate on this back side. So I'm probably going to put a little bit of a little bit of weather stripping, kind of like they did from the factory in uh, contact points to avoid vibration. 
else we'll get that taken care of but uh yeah it's gonna be awesome i got my homeboy curtis uh working on uh the brackets to the oil cooler so we're making some progress